a wildfire burning out of control right now in Lake County. Uh, we're going to show you here this is happening near Clear Lake. Evacuation orders are currently in effect. Um, and there you go. We are looking at time-lapse video of that fire right now. It has burned so far about 200 acres. And they've just updated that uh, 294, almost 300 acres. Joining us now is Jason Clay with Cal Fire. Jason, uh, what do you know about this fire? What's the latest? Yeah, you're spot on with the acreage. We just got uh, additional mapping that showed it just under 300 acres. You can see behind me and up above, um, you know, it's an active firefight right now. Uh, so we got our resources, a significant augmentation of resources, both air and ground that are attacking the fire. And it's really has started moving towards the east um, in, in some aspects towards Clear Lake. Um, but the area that you're seeing right up above me is one of the areas of, of concern. Uh, El Cerrito Road up there as the fire has started to back down some as well towards the lake. Um, you were referencing the smoke coming up behind you. That is the fire that we're addressing right now. And you say you're hitting it from uh, the ground and then also from the air. Uh, how many uh, people do you have uh, trying to take this thing down? Yeah, so that section right there that you're looking at, we got a bunch of hand crews and bulldozers that are working on uh, control lines to keep that from backing down. There are some homes in that area. We do have homes that are uh, threatened. There's in the evacuation zones, there's just under 4,000 people that are in the evacuation order. And then the Lake County Sheriff also issued an uh, evacuation warning that there's about additional 400 people in that area. So uh, we're working really hard on both uh, firefighting suppression efforts as well as structured defense. Uh, we got about 25 engines that so far are responding to the incident. Uh, we got, I think it was eight fixed wing aircraft. We got five helicopters, uh, five dozers. Um, so we got a significant number of resources that are coming. And this is gonna be a, an incident that's gonna extend into the night and we'll see how it goes. The concern really is the, the winds and what they are going to do uh, as we get transition into the evening. So the westerly winds, are they going to spot, uh, pick things up and cause more spotting problems that will expand this mm. fire further than its current footprint? Mm -hmm. Even just since you've been talking, the flags have sat down. It, now they're picking up again. What, what has the weather been you know, the past hour or so? And, and what is your knowledge of the forecast moving forward? Yeah, well, this is right on the area where we have the red flag warning for Southern Lake County today. Um, so we've had high temperatures, you know, it's hot for October where we're at. Uh, we've had low relative humidities and, and the winds. So the winds, uh, you know, the vegetation that's burning, it's grass, oak, woodland. There's been some torching when the fire gets up in the trees and that causes the embers to cast. So the embers are being spread out and that's what initially expanded this fire. And so those winds are the area of concern um, and we're looking to see what the winds are going to do. We've got the spot forecast, expecting some more westerly winds tonight. Uh, we'll just see what it actually turns out to be. So we're working hard on the control lines right now in preparation for uh, an increase of wind. Gosh, Jason, it is so scary, those embers when they start flying, um, you know, and, and you think you might have it out and then it just pops up somewhere else. Um, uh, you guys are no strangers to, to fires in that area. Um, how are people responding? You have ha had uh, evacuations as well. Yeah, uh, working hand in hand with the Lake County Sheriff's Office. They've done a phenomenal job of working to get people out. Like I said, it was, I think, just under 4,000 people in the evacuation order areas uh, that get it out. So uh, it's a, co a coordinated effort, and we got a lot of resources at hand. We have, like we said, a significant augmentation of resources here to uh, battle this fire. The latest uh, we heard from CHP Clear Lake is that Route 20, and, and if we have a map, we can put it up. Uh, Route 20 is closed from Glen Haven uh, to east of Clear Lake Oaks at Route 53, is that uh, the latest uh, as far as you know it? Yeah, so the Highway 20 closure is just west of Paradise Valley and Highway 20 on the north side. And then at the roundabout at Highway 20 and Highway 53 south, that, uh, the junction of the two highways right there. So that's a closure of Highway 20. Then on the evacuation side, uh, Twin Pine Casino is going to be the evacuation shelter that is getting set up here. Um, and that is just opening now at four o'clock. Okay, so that's where you're sending folks? That's what we should be telling them? 
Yeah, so that is a place that they will go. There was initially two centers that were open, one on the north side of Glenhaven, one on the, on the south side. But uh, at this time, uh, the Twin Pine Casino is going to be the area for the evacuation shelter. What else can we be telling viewers uh, who are, are in your area and wondering, you know, should they stay, should they go if they haven't received any evacuation orders? What's the best advice? Well, if you are in the areas with the evacuation order or warning, you know, you really need to get out because this is a, a very active fire. Like you said, the concern of what the winds are going to do tonight, if that causes it to expand further. Uh, if you live in the general area, New Long Valley, Clear Lake, definitely want to be keeping an eye, staying in tune with the progress of the fire. Uh, so that way, if additional evacuation orders or warnings are, are initiated by the sheriff's office, that you can get out and keep your family safe. So stay tuned, be prepared, have everything that you need ready to go. You know, we call it your go bag, your important personal items. So if you have to evacuate, you may have to do it in a very short notice that you're ready to go. Keep that car ready. How close is the fire to some of these homes? Like, is there an imminent threat with any structures? There are structures threatened. We don't have any confirmed reports of any structures destroyed at this point. That'll take some time to get into and, and develop as we get go through any damage inspection process. So, but this time we, we don't have that, but we do know that there are structures threatened. Um, and again, the two priorities are uh, structure defense. So we got a lot of resources that are assigned to homes in the, the areas and then the fire suppression efforts. That's been a, a very aggressive attack from the air and the ground. Okay, uh, Jason Clay with CAL FIRE, we appreciate the time that you've taken to explain this to our viewers, some who uh, may be threatened even as we speak. Uh, we wish you well and uh, certainly hope that the weather cooperates with you as well. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, us too. Thank you.